Welcome back. This video will give you a short overview on panel data assets and their application in the panel based menu. You might be aware that there is already a quite comprehensive video on the panel based menu under the link in the description. So I will keep this short and to the point. This is meant for everyone who just wants a quick reminder on what panel data assets are and how they are used. Let's get started. There are actually a number of different panel PDA in the Advanced Framework Core. This is to have a fitting data asset for each type of panel-based menu the core provides. Let's have a short look at the hierarchy so you know what you're dealing with. The PDA panel serves as parent class for all our panel data assets. It's not to, meant to be used in any application. The PDA panel large contains all variables shown in the closed large menu panel. The PDA panel large level expands its parent by the textures shown in the open panel. This is the PDA you should use as template if you want to implement a panel-based menu with large panels, like we use it in the examples. The PDA panel small describes the content for the closed small menu panels that we sometimes also call tiles. As before, the PDA panel small level extends the contents of its parent by the textures shown in the side panels. Again, this is the PDA you should use as template if you want to create data assets for a panel-based menu with tiles. Let's have a short look at both PDA, that which are lowest in the hierarchy, to see where their content shows in the panels, starting with the tiles. First, we need to create an instance of the small level panel PDA. Open it up and here we are. Let's talk about the widgets down here first. The small panel data asset is set up to support two side panels with very specific widgets. If you want to use other widgets, you probably will have to create a, another PDA to suit them unless they work with exactly the same content as the PDA panel small level, uh, level has. For now, let's add the widget the core provides. Now let's add the level data asset to make sure the panel knows which level to load. Next, we are going to take a look at the textures. There are four kinds of textures in the tiles, small, large, logo, and cover. Each texture has a default size, which must be met for the texture to be displayed immaculately. Let's go through them from top to bottom. Large image textures need to be of 1600 times 975 pixels. Small image textures need to be of 800 times 585 pixel. For the panel, we actually need two of them. Logo textures need to be of 250 times 115 pixel and usually serve to display the logo of the application or of your company. Cover textures need to be of 650 times 650 pixel and also covers usually look better with a transparent background. Let's have a short look on what we assembled until now. I already prepared a panel menu actor in the level. You can see it's practically an actor with the small panel menu component on it. To have a look on the tile, we need to add the data asset on the content section. Here we go. All textures need to be in their place. Now, practically only the texts are missing. Let's add the slogan first. It's practically the name of the level and displayed in the middle of the tile. The details are displayed in, in the side panel together with the sm two small textures. You might want to put some bullet points or a longer text here, but remember that there will be no automatic line breaks. Let me show you how to do that manually. Finally, let's choose a background color. Now let's set up the large panels for comparison. First, create an instance of the PDA panel large level. Let's add the widget first. Remember, each widget you add here must be able to work with the content the data asset provides. Now the textures. As I indicated before, you need to make sure each texture is of the correct size for them to look good in your application.
Let's have a look at our panel now. Each panel-based menu has its own component. Make sure your component fits the menu you want. I prepared a fitting actor right here. Let's add our data asset. And here we are. Let's add the missing content of the panel. The slogan again acts as title. Details and additional text allow you to add more comprehensive descriptions of your level in the large panels. Remember, you have to enter line breaks by hand. Lastly, set the background color. Now we are ready to get back to the level. Here we go, now we have the two menus side by side. That's all I've got for today. Bye bye and see you in the next video.